All right, this one's gonna be on XDCC. It's a um, IRC protocol to you know download files and stuff like that over it. So uh, I'm gonna show you method 1.0 and 2.0 and maybe 3.0, which is a, a method I came up with to automate everything, but um, maybe a little preview of it. Anyways, how you use this here. So I'm gonna show you a 2.0 first here. So we'll bust out a search engine and there's a bunch of XCC search engines out there, but the most popular one right now is uh, xdcc.eu. And we'll search for uh, Ubuntu to keep this legit. Right, uh, they have a couple of um, PDFs here. And basically this is a search engine to search uh, multiple servers and channels out there that hosts XCC files. So it's a little bit more convenient than, you know, manually going to each one of them and then searching. So the 2.0 method is, um, you know, the most preferred way. All right. But anyways, you have a bunch of these, uh, you know, Ubuntu PDFs that we want to download. And how do you do that? So you click on this information here and it'll tell exactly what you need to do. So you do need to connect to this server. You need to connect to this channel and you need to send this uh, command, right? Basically, it tells us uh, to message this bot and tell that bot to send us uh, over XCCC uh, this package uh, number, aka our PDF that we want. But anyways, uh, you do need an IRC client. And I don't think a lot of my users actually use IRC anymore. But here's a GUI way uh, using HexChat. And we don't know what HexChat is. It's a open source IRC client. Uh, it's cross-platform, so it should work on Linux, uh, Windows, and stuff like that. I'm not sure about Macs, but any IRC client will do. It doesn't have to be a hex chat, right? Um, most of them should have, you know, downloading capabilities, right? Anywho, uh, we need to copy this. And we'll add a new one here. We'll call it Ara. How about that? Uh, and here, this is the important part here. Paste that sucker, hit enter. And we want to auto join the channel also. So we do an auto join here. And this channel right here, copy that. And in here, we'll do add, paste, enter. And there we go. So these two tabs should have the correct information. Right, otherwise it won't work, right? And that's it, close. We'll do connect now. Uh, connection fail, what the heck happened? Uh, I think one of these uh, these servers, and sometimes they don't use SSL, so you wanna uncheck it, close, and then we'll connect now. And so, uh, it's working now, so we'll wait for it to, you know, connect to that server and then that channel. So wait for a minute and there we go, we're inside. And in here, uh, we know exactly what files we want already because we have the um, commands here. So I want to copy this, all right? And, and that's it, we're just gonna go copy that and then paste it in here uh, on that channel. And it'll tell that bot, you know, they have a bunch of bots here on the side, you can see that a uh, bunch of them here. And um, we want to tell this specific bot to uh, send us this file or this package. And you'll see in a minute, it'll pop up a, uh, you know, uh, where you want to download it and stuff like that. So he knows that this is a PDF file and it's downloading. Uh, it really depends on the bot and the server. Sometimes, they, you know, most times uh, on different servers I use, they'll max it out, max out my speed. This one is a little bit slow, I think, because it's from Italy, right? But you know, maybe if it's closer to yours, then um, it'll be faster. But anyways, uh, we're downloading that uh, PDF, and you can do this for any of these other files in that uh, channel that we're connected to, All right? So any of these other channels you want to, you know, download it, you can do that. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much how you would uh, download stuff from IRC. Um, now this one is a 2.0 method, right? But let's say I, I don't want to use the search engine in here. 
uh, in that case, you have to actually go to, you know, that uh, channel. And some of the channels actually allow you to search stuff. So you don't actually have to, like, use a uh, third-party search engine like this to do it. You can actually just go to that channel itself. And inside it, they have, like, a, a search mechanism that uh, they set up. Not all of them have it, uh, but any of the popular one will have it, right? But anyways, that's our file is completed. Um, the next portion here, I'm just going to show you from the command line because I really don't use the GUI, but uh, I thought I'd show you the GUI for uh, any new users um, that wants to get familiar with it before you commit to uh, using a um, a better um, you know IRC uh, client. So I'm using uh, WeChat here, and WeChat is a terminal. Uh, you know, IRC client here. All right. So you can use a headless and all that. But uh, let's say I connect to, what was that one called? Uh, connect to Undernet. How about that? And in here, <clears throat> we'll wait for it to connect here. Why is it so slow though? All right, so it's connected. Um, all right, so we have this channel called Books and this other channel called MP3 Downloads. And real simple in here, if you want to search for stuff, is usually is at find, at search, uh, and seek. It really depends on um, the different um, channels you go to. So it's usually find, search. Some of them it's uh, fine with the exclamation mark, exclamation mark search, right? Uh, like I said, there's there's like no standards to this XCCC uh, stuff. Some people have it, like, you know, different things. Anyways, uh, for example, we go to uh, this MP3 downloads here. If I want to, um, let's say, search for some stuff, I can do search. Uh, Linux, how about that? Did you find anything? No? No, I don't think you found anything. What's the thing? Didn't find anything. Let's search for Ubuntu. How about that? There we go. We have at least one result. Okay, what is this thing? I'm not sure. But, you know, if I want to download this, uh, real simple, I just go copy this. And I go back to um, our... Um, mp3 downloads here and i'll just paste that in there all right and i'll hit enter and it should pop up in my uh number two here what was it all right and it's downloaded from uh, that person real simple right and you can you know rinse and repeat uh search for something else like uh say remix and this one is more results than uh, you know searching for Ubuntu in an mp3 place that uh, doesn't work that way but here look at this we have uh, a little bit more results here for um, over here All right a bunch of remixes and stuff like that and any of these ones uh, real simple I just go in here and uh, copy all this and go back and you know paste into that uh, main channel again, right? So any of our results here that we have, um, we can um, do that, right? Any of these results here. Anyways, uh, hopefully you get that. It's pretty much the same thing that we did before. We just paste in our, uh, you know, um, files that we want to download. Uh, some of them are different, like I said. And these ones, I believe, is from users. So um, some of them are offline and online at different hours, all right? 
Um, what was the other thing I need to explain? Oh, yeah, some other uh, channels out there. Clear this here. Some other channels out there um, that require you to connect to two, um, you know, channels. Because, um, let me give you an example. Connect. Uh, what was that one called? Abandon. Let's see. So this one, you can see that uh, the zombie wears here. Um, um, you know, this is the main one, number four here. This is your main um, channel where all the bots will do is, is work. But if you want to search and stuff like that, or sometimes they force you to have uh, both channels open. Otherwise, they'll ban you for not having both channels open. But you can see here, um, they'll tell you up top here in, um, you know, their headlines, whatever it is, join, uh, Z, it was a ZW chat here, right, for search, right? So that's why you have uh, four and five uh, set up up here, right? So four and five, and this one, um, this is where you do all your searching. So they have like different commands like um, bang help, bang search you know latest and, and all these other stuff up here right that you can do so if i want to search for some stuff let's say i want to search for um uh, i don't know p media how about that and this one will show up in number one here no one yet on oh, number two i mean Right, and you see here, these are our uh, results that we just searched for P Media. And if I want to download any of these, um, all I got to do is copy these commands here. All right, copy that command, and I go back to our main channel, which is number four here. And I will paste that in here, and the bot will uh, download. But we're going to keep this legit. We're not downloading any, uh, any stuff in here, right? Uh, so that's how I would do it. And, uh, you know, that's how it would download stuff in here, uh, real simple. Now, that one's, you know, 1.0 and 2.0. So, you know, 1.0 is just downloading straight from um, that server itself and using the search engine that they got in here. Uh, 2.0 is using the uh, online, you know, website here for their searching. And 3.0 is uh, kind of like my method. I can't show you how to set it up first, but I'll show you a little preview over here. All right, let me show you a little preview over here. So if I want to uh, download some uh, wallpapers, I would do uh, uh, wallpapers. All right, from, um, from here, look at this. I can just go, uh, let's say, for example, this uh, photos wallpapers here. This one, we'll queue up another one, and we'll do another one. This one here, and pretty much that's how I would do it. So as you see, this one is running. All right, and once that one's you know finished, I'll go on to the next one. And this one, we don't actually need a um, you know traditional IRC. Um, client here so this one I can actually close this quit um, and you know I can still download it here look at that it'll say success once it's finished all right success success uh, this one's like my own like script that I wrote because you know like I said the uh, XCCC is very tedious and I didn't want to copy paste or whatever it is I want to do like a uh, torrent does it where you you know hit enter and then it does its thing and that's basically what we're doing here. Although I haven't worked out all the kinks yet, but um, that's what we're gonna set up in the future. I can't show you right now because it take forever. But anyways, that's what I've been using XCCC. Actually, I've been using it for like the last, I think four, four or five years. I just never talked about it. But um, you know, if you're used to using torrents, which I was, but um, nowadays there's a lot of companies uh, going after people in public torrents um and this one we're downloading just straight from the bot so we don't actually have to be like uh in a swarm like in um in a torrent uh, especially like a uh, public ones um anyone can go into that swarm and uh, see other people's ips 
right? And that's how the copyright holders gets people. You know, they go into this worm, they collect all the IPs, and then they do like a, a reverse IP search, and they'll try to find out which country you're from and which ISP you belong to. And your ISP has to follow the laws because uh, if, you know, the copyright holders knows that you're downloading stuff, they'll talk to your ISP and your ISP has to send you a letter. Otherwise, your ISP really don't care what you download because, you know, they're getting a monthly uh, monthly feed from you already. So they don't care what you download, but the copyright holders, they do. So that's why they have to do uh, all these stuff to, uh, you know, contact your ISP and your ISP has to send you a letter. But uh, if you're doing XDCC, we're downloading directly from a bot. And so, um, you know, uh, we have less of a chance of getting a uh, letter in the mail. And some people will tell you use like VPN and stuff for that. But uh, you have to do a lot of research of which VPN you have to trust. And you don't really trust them fully until it's too late if they are trustworthy anyways, you know. Like some people, they say it's trustworthy. And then like four or five months later, uh, they get letters in the mail anyways. So, um, you know, you can't be too sure of which uh, uh, VPN provider to trust anyways, right? Anywho, that's how you uh, do XDCC. And I dig it. I've been, use, I've been uh, replacing all my uh, torrent needs with XDCC. And depending on what server you connect to, uh, the speed, it actually max out my speed. You know, max it out, right? Uh, the bad thing about XTC is that I will say is that uh, if you try and download like old files, uh, it doesn't really exist on XTC that much, right? I mean, there's some um, servers that will do old files, but basically it's mainly like new files, right? Like probably in the last maybe six months or something like that. If it's like a year or longer, um, you can really forget it. You can, there's like other ways to get it on different um, different methods to download, but not on XCCC. XCC is mainly for like new files, right? Current files um, that were, that you know just came out or something like that, and that's where you'll get it. Uh, but it really depends on what you're into. You know, there's like mp3 specific ones there's uh, ebook specific ones there's movie specific ones apps and stuff like that uh it's up to you anyways that's it for this one maybe uh, in the future um once i explain you all the other stuff that you set up uh we'll do uh, method 3.0 but that's a little preview of what we did there for 3.0 uh but you still need to learn all the other ones like you know method 1.0 uh, it's the most reliable because you're going from um, directly from their um, their server and their chat room. Uh, 2.0 with the online uh, database here. This one can actually be out of sync at certain hours. Like uh, this one, you know, it doesn't sync up with the uh, um, the servers on um, you know the uh, the channels. And sometimes you download the wrong files. Um, it doesn't always happen, but it does happen, right? It's not like a, uh, you know, it's not like a hundred percent of the time, but uh, there's like maybe three percent of the time um, there's a chance of that happening, um, but not too often, right? Anyways, uh, XCCC. If you don't know about it, check it out. All right, that'll be for this one.